Hello my lovelies, Sakura Bell here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, everybody. I'm glad that you're coming back to watch more videos. Um, yeah, I know it's been a while since I've recorded or uploaded literally a regular video besides like a YouTube short. So yeah, I apologize. I've been going through a lot recently, so. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going through like another depressive episode. So I'm gonna be here and there recently until it literally either stops or things get back to normal we'll see um but yeah that's not gonna stop me from creating stuff but sometimes it's just hard and sometimes i just need time to myself so that's also why i took like a time off a while ago because i was gone for like a week I'm back now, obviously. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this Haunted History episode. It's been a while. I've missed this series. <laughs> because I was more focused on um, my Spooky December series from like last month for December. And now that it's January, I'm basically just drawing a blank for what I want to do. Um, I know I want to still continue doing my exploration and everything. But we'll see how it goes. There's a lot going on. I'm literally going to be preparing myself for when I literally sign up um, for college in two months. So, it's like everything's going to be changing up. So, I just wanted to let you guys know at least a little bit ahead of time. I'm not going to give you full details right now. But I, I will probably give you something out later today. I'm also going to be probably making another video um which is like an unboxing video for something special that's coming pretty soon and i'm very excited about it so yay <laughs> whenever i get something new i'll probably do an unboxing video too as well for people who like those videos um but that's not always going to be a recurrence anyways but they're just they're fun to make they're fun for you guys to watch um also i f i apologize if you guys didn't um, if I didn't see your answer for the poll on Instagram, I only saw the results for YouTube because I deleted Instagram for a week. So, I pro um, everybody said Lucy, so technically, that's what's, that's what's gonna happen for the plushie, which is behind me right now. Because it's very comfortable, so I have it behind me like it's a, it's a pillow. I literally use it as a pillow, it's not a plush anymore, it's a straight up pillow. Um, but it helps because I can lean on something, so I have something for my back. So, and if you're wondering what these are, um, Lucy decided that she just wanted to jump on, on me today. And I was just laying down, and she decided that it would be funny if she would basically just jump on me. She, she got me good, not just here, like, she also got my arm. If you guys can see that a little bit, yeah, that's what Lucy did. And there's more scratches, but you can't see it because I can't, like, fully um, lift up my sleeve. So, yeah, so that's enough for, like, updates. So let's just get into the haunted history. So, again, um, not much I know about this place besides... Um, what I researched, I probably want to go to this place. This place is also another abandoned asylum. And it also basically closed the same year as the other asylum. The one that I actually went to for a, for a spooky December episode. I wouldn't say it was a haunted history episode, but technically, they, technically those series go together. But the only difference is technically the haunted history is for like all around, all year round. And then, um... Spooky December is obviously for only December. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so yeah. The, the building itself, the original building, was basically built in 1912. And then they basically just kept on expanding this place because they needed room for patients and everything. So... The original building was made in 1912, and um, what was founded about it was um, the Mental Health Association within that hospital was founded in 1927. Um, when you're doing 
research on places try to literally at least get one or two sources because you're not going to always get the same information throughout and i know that technically your teachers say not to use wikipedia but also wikipedia is also good because they always update everything um and it is a reliable source because they are also getting sources from other places and if there's something wrong they'll um delete it and then replace it with um appropriate information so technically the reason why they, they don't like you using wikipedia is probably because most of what's on wikipedia it's too like concentrated with its information or um it's always like updating and deleting itself so that's basically why and i only know about it because i was basically taught that recently when i was in my senior year of high school by um my english teacher so shout out to mr Evans, <laughs> even though i know that you're not watching this <laughs> obviously and they closed down in 1992 because for cutting cost reasons they didn't have enough um money to keep the hospital running so they had to close it down in 1992 and also that's the same year the one in connecticut closed down so it's just funny and how it connects that way makes no sense but the reason why this hospital was built and made was also not only because they need pe places to place people um but it was also because they had to, um, they wanted to try something new out so that they were trying to do, um, try to bring more natural lighting into the hospital. And they were also trying to make everything like more spacious and a lot of fresh air circulation. So that was basically one of, um, the projects of this specific mental hospital for what they did for like treatment for their mental health patients. And I actually like that idea and i wish that most asylums were technically like that but no not everything's all sun sunshine and rainbows excuse me um because usually um because the one that i was talking about last time which is in connecticut as i said because this is um metro metro i'm just gonna say metro state hospital I, I can't, I can't, I, I can't pronounce that word. It's going to take me too long. So, um, j look, reread the title of the, the video because I can't pronounce it. So, you can be mad at me, but I'm not going to attempt because it's just going to sound ridiculous. So, that one had hydro treatments. That one also had, um abotomies going on lobotomies going on abotomy it's either abotomy or lobotomy i can never get that right i'm confused i know what it means i know what the procedure is i just always like forget how to basically pronounce the name of the procedure dang it <laughs> um they had that there so obviously not all sunshine and rainbows there's a lot going on with a bunch of people but uh, uh, it like it worked. This idea for this mental hospital worked for a while, but uh, eventually, for some certain patients, depending on what they had wrong with them, didn't help. So sadly, that part of their treatment didn't work. It never listed what they had for treatment other besides that. So there could be other stuff about this place um that happened there is something that did happen technically that was big later that i'm going to talk about and straight up right now <laughs> so the design failed to heal most of the patients and as evidence of this in um 1978 there was a murder of Anne marie Dave Davi, I can't pronounce her last name, but technically it's Dave with an extra E, is how they spelled it. And she she was murdered by a fellow resident. It took them a long time for them to find her body on. So she was basically murdered, and then it took them so long to find the, her body um, 
So, nobody knows what happened to her body right after she was murdered. They just know that she was missing for a long time. And when they found her body, eventually, they basically found out that she was murdered. Um, they did find her body on the grounds of the asylum, but it doesn't... It didn't say specifically how or why. Um, but they... Basi they could have found her a lot faster, but they were basically just lazy on the case. And they um, didn't document it well, so they were literally just like... They, they straight up didn't care that this woman got murdered in the mental hospital. And they were literally like, the heck with that. So... It sucks. That's actually extremely sad. And I'm sad that they had to, um, they did that that poorly. So the investigation ended a year after. So like in 1979, that's basically when it is. And they didn't even close this place down, as I said before, until like 1992. And 1992 is technically a lot closer to us than the 70s was. So that's kind of concerning. Um, but I'm also not surprised because of how, um, the 90s were, even though I didn't exist <laughs> in the 90s. They didn't find the body in the asylum grounds until 1980. So they, they, they end, okay, so as I said before, so they ended the case in 1979. They did not find her remains until 1980. I know that's like, because they ended it a year before, because um, the 80s come after 70s, technically. Um, so yeah, it was basically like a year after, they didn't find her until a year after they closed the investigation, which I think is very horrible for the justice of this poor woman. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why they think that it's haunted. A lot of people went there to do documentaries. I want to go. This place is abandoned. I don't know if there's anywhere. Any openings to get inside. Excuse me. I had dinner before I started recording. So I apologize. And also that was just me moving on the on here. I, It's just me moving. It makes that sound when I adjust myself. Um... So yeah, it's just, it just sucks. Like, that is one of the reasons why they think it's haunted. There's a lot of people who went for making documentaries of this place, the history and everything. When I was looking up this place to see if other YouTubers went there to either um, do an investigation or explore the place, technically no. Um, unless you technically count the documentaries as exploring, which technically it does partly count, but it doesn't account um <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't count for investigations sorry i was like i i'm tired as hell honestly and i apologize for my swearing um also this state hospital metro state hospital that's all i'm gonna say i can't pronounce the name i still can't do it state hospital is actually in Walton, Massachusetts. I think it was Walton, Massachusetts. Um, regardless, in Massachusetts, um, nowhere close to where I am, because I am also from Massachusetts, if you guys didn't know already. Um, so yeah, I've never been to that area of Massachusetts. I think it's closer to like the Boston or Salem area. I think, I'm not sure. I didn't look it up before this video, so I apologize. I don't know. All I know is that it's in a town of Massachusetts. That's it. So, yeah. And I'm sad that they had to, um, they did that that poorly. So, the investigation ended a year after. So, like, in 1979, that's basically when it is. And they didn't even close this place down, as I said before, until, like, 1992. And... 1992 is technically a lot closer to us than the 70s was so that's kind of concerning 
Um, but I'm also not surprised because of how um, the 90s were, even though I didn't exist <laughs> in the 90s. They didn't find the body in the asylum grounds until 1980. So they, they, they end, okay. So as I said before, so they ended the case in 1979. They did not find her remains until 1980. I know that's like, cause they ended it a year before because um, the 80s come after 70s technically um so yeah it was basically like a year after they didn't find her until a year after they closed the investigation which i think is very horrible for the justice of this poor woman so yeah that's one of the reasons why they think that it's haunted a lot of people went there to do documentaries i want to go this place is abandoned i don't know if there's anywhere any openings to get inside excuse me i had dinner before i started recording so i apologize and also that was just me moving on the on here i it's just me moving it makes that sound when i adjust myself um so yeah it's just, it just sucks like that is one of the reasons why they think it's haunted there's a lot of people who went for making documentaries of this place the history and everything when I was looking up this place to see if other YouTubers went there to either um, do an investigation or explore the place, technically no. Um, unless you technically count the documentaries as exploring, which technically it does partly count, but it doesn't account. Um, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't count for investigations. Sorry, I was like, I, I'm tired as hell, honestly. And I apologize for my swearing. Um, also, this state hospital, Metro State Hospital, that's all I'm gonna say, I can't pronounce the name. I still can't do it. State Hospital is actually in Walton, Massachusetts. I think it was Walton, Massachusetts. Um, Regardless, in Massachusetts, um, nowhere close to where I am, because I am also from Massachusetts, if you guys didn't know already. Um, so yeah, I've never been to that area of Massachusetts. I think it's closer to, like, the Boston or Salem area, I think. I'm not sure. I didn't look it up before this video, so I apologize. I don't know. All I know is that it's in a town of Massachusetts. That's it. So yeah. Also, if you guys didn't notice, I'm actually going to be editing this video. So I'm trying to, um, while I'm doing this video, I'm also trying to basically like play out with some things because I'm going to, because I'm recording in parts and I'm going to link it to together since I'm new to editing. I just wanted to try it out and I'm telling you guys just so you know that you can see the transitions so you're aware of it, even though this is later in the video. But if you notice that, good job if i did a bad job i apologize i'm still new to this i haven't edited videos since grade middle school so yeah <laughs> i'm not i'm not gonna be great with it so if it comes out gross i apologize but hey at least i'm moving a step forward i'm practicing just be happy um so yeah basically they closed the asylum down because of the costs and they also closed it down from the incident um because again one of their um patients straight up was murdered and there wasn't much about that investigation so because i do remember i don't think that it was this hospital but i remember that there's another mental hospital somewhere um that's old and it, it is abandoned but people can go in there and do stuff you're allowed to if you like talk to the owners and stuff if people still own it now um and they base because the ryan and shane this was on an episode on buzzfeed unsolved there was a woman who um, was also murdered. She was hung in her room. And 
I apologize for like the dark, the dark part in here. So she was hung in her room and people still have no idea how the heck that happened. Um, people say that she was murdered, but she was hung up in that room. I don't remember what asylum that was, but it didn't come up when I was looking this up. So, um, when I was literally doing the research for this place, that's what I was thinking the whole time when it literally brought up. Anne Marie, that's basically what I'm gonna call her because I I don't I can't pronounce her last name, even though it's not that hard of a last name. And during the 1930s, they added to the asylum. They added new buildings to the asylum because they were gaining in patience. There they there were so many like mental health hospitals back in like the 1900s because a lot of people were going in more now than now so there was there, there was so many mental hospitals back then and most of them are abandoned now because cut costing or because of horrible stuff happening there um mostly if you ever come across an abandoned asylum most of the time it would be haunted i'm not saying all of them are because not all abandoned places are haunted but a majority of asylums are haunted mostly because there's people buried there because they had to bury their dead patients somewhere um in unmarked graves so most asylums if you ever go to them they are haunted mostly because of their they have unmarked graves it's very sad um, and also back then, if you were literally put into a mental hospital by your family, you would never, you're stuck there. You could never leave, which is also very sad and depressing, which nowadays you can actually be able to get in and out more often than you used to be able to because they, they changed everything, um, about the rules. So yeah, if you were checked into a mental hospital back in like the 1900s, the chances of you ever seeing the real world again are very low and it also depends on what you had as well so like because there were people who who were straight up like sick with like tuberculosis did i say that right holy crap i think i said that right holy crap so yes with tuberculosis or like other types of diseases um so yeah there's like the regular type of hospital part into asylum as well as that but a lot of people died and a lot of pe um reasons why a lot of mental hospitals were made were because of the regular hospitals were too crowded so they would have like a regular medical unit and then they would also have where they would be like doing like operations on mentally ill patients which is sad and they also uh, also, a while later, in the 1950s, they also added more buildings. So, basically, they added in the 30s, and then they waited through the 40s to add more buildings into the 50s, which is, I think, is hilarious. So, um, I just think it's hilarious that they waited, like, a good amount of time before they added more buildings. That's just funny to me. Um, and for, um the areas of the asylum there's different um building architecture in the buildings similar to the fairfield state hospital that i went to i did not go inside and i still want to go inside to this day i think about it every day um but no so i've seen youtube videos of people exploring the fairfield state mental hospital yes and there's multiple of really beautiful um architecture in there and a lot of old um ways that they used to build buildings back in the day that they don't do now which is why i'd rather live in an old ass house than a brand new house because the flex on the older houses are better and also i'd rather live in a haunted house versus living with actual people my preference <laughs> plus i also just i love the older houses anyways and i like the old furniture that's me um most of my friends prefer like modern stuff i'm like 
I, sometimes I don't even understand how I'm friends with people like that. I don't get it. But, like, I understand why they would want it, but I also understand why I would want that. And no matter how many times I explain it to somebody else and they do not straight up understand, I just continue with what I feel like I like. And I don't care what they like. They can do them as much as they want. That's them. And then there's me, <laughs> the redhead. <laughs> And they basically were able to have like 5k patients in this building at once. I don't actually, I don't know if it was at once or they had them all together in general for as how many people that they had there. I couldn't find out how many people passed away in this building besides the murdered victim. But I also didn't have enough time to fully research because I, ha I was planning on doing another place and then I just decided to scrap that, and then I went on to this place, and then I made this video, so that's enough for the facts there. And, yeah, that's that's all I could find out and everything, and now I have to edit, so that's gonna take me a while, so it's, it's gonna take a while for this video to come up, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I also have a lot planned for the summer, so stick around, please subscribe for this summer because you guys do not want to miss it and that means more fun in the summer more traveling and exploring we're definitely going back to the waterfalls 100 percent and that's just some of the tastes that you'll have for the summer on uh, yeah i will also do more live streams and i'll also literally um try to pump out as much content as I can for you guys for the summer because I want to have a good summer before I have to go to college. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm going to enjoy college. Don't get me wrong, but like I want to be able to get as much as my old content as I could before I have to change things up due to what I'm able to do while I'm in college because I also have homework to do. I'm going to have to do a lot of shit. Um, and I would also be working at the college as well, so there's gonna be a lot that I won't be able to do as much as I am now, so it's just gonna suck. Um, and I'm actually gonna be going to the college that is haunted that I talked about a while ago, and I want to do an investigation there so bad. I, w the first time I walked into that school, I knew that that was gonna be my college. Even before I even set foot on the campus grounds, I knew. And I would know because I was in there with a white van because of my high school basically went there a couple times for some competitions. Um, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about for like FFA because I was in, land in the landscaping class back in high school. Miss you too, Mr. H, <laughs> if you're watching this. Um, so yeah. I'm excited for the future. Um, I have a lot of goals coming soon. So, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. That'll mean the world to me. But it's also your choice. I'm not going to force you to do anything. As long as you basically just watch my video, that's enough for me, basically. Um, because I enjoy all of you. You guys are at the best. Thank you for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. And you guys help me to be able to want to actually do something. <laughs> and I mean in general, just to do something through the day because it's it's hard for me sometimes. Um, also, I've been tired because of my ADHD and I have been trouble sleeping recently. So I hope you guys are doing well. Um, remember to stay classic. Um, remember also to um take care of your mental health i gotta start doing that that's also a goal for me this year um not saying that i haven't been at least trying i mean i'm I, my goal is to literally try to do it more often <sighs> and that means trying to sleep all day i'm just kidding <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i'll try to deal with it otherwise because there's an other stuff that's gonna be changing this this year as well so i'm i'm just trying to get ready for the change because it's gonna be hard um and also remember to stay strong my warriors i love you all thank you all for the love and support see you guys in the next one do not know what next video i'm gonna be planning we'll see what goes on it's probably gonna be um a food review or movie review 
I would probably say a movie review, actually, because I, I finally got to watch Christine, so I'm gonna review that horror movie. I can't wait to make that video. I almost made that video versus this one, but I decided to do a haunted history video because I haven't done that longer than... Actually, no. They're, they're both overdue. I'll probably do a movie review. It depends on what you guys also want to see. Tell me what you guys want to see from um, the past series that I've done on the channel in the comments before I leave. And yeah, that's all. See you guys later. Love you all. Feel better, everybody. See you guys in the next one.